Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to here and welcome back to another tutorial world update video. In celebration of 29,000 subscribers, I thought I would go ahead and release the tutorial world as a download. Um, again, this is the 23rd uh, download version for the world and this video here is going to be just kind of a spotlight of everything that's new and everything you can expect to see uh, that's added to the tutorial world since our last update version 22. Uh, the world itself has grown immensely, uh, lots of new redesigns, lots of new builds, um, some really big aircraft redesigns such as the B1, B52, and just a lot of really cool additions. Um, pretty much most of the uh, British uh, War Thunder ground unit tech tree is now on the world. Uh, there's just a few tanks left, I believe, and yeah, so a lot of new British tanks added and from that Cold War kind of early Modern Warfare area era so really cool stuff overall and i know that you guys are really gonna enjoy this world it's very diverse it has uh features from world war one cold war uh world war two modern warfare and miscellaneous star war builds and stuff so it's really just a huge encompassing um addition of builds that just really covers everything i think it's probably one of our most diverse um tutorial world updates in that kind of sense uh, but anyways before we go and jump into this stuff i just want to go and say that this world is available for download um, you can go ahead and check the link in the description and that will take you to uh, the my media fire where you can go and download the world for yourself. Just to note that as far as I'm aware it only works for Java edition of Minecraft. If you're trying to get on Bedrock or console or uh, PE then I don't think the world will work for you guys. Um, so that's just a forewarning. I'm also using version 1.14.4 using any versions below that will uh, corrupt the world and there will not be any or any of the new blocks showing. So do make sure that if you do download it, you're using 1.14.4 um, at the very least. Um, and always, as always, uh, if you do end up using any of these builds that have not been tutorialed on, on this uh, world or just any of the builds in general on any of your maps, then please uh, do still give credit for it. Uh, you guys are really good about that. I haven't had any problems, but just want to always put that out there um, so that none of these builds are still are, uh, being taken or still or tank, somebody's trying to take credit for them and then uh, kind of ruins it for everybody in the tutorial world updates not being released anymore. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, really cool stuff added. Let's go ahead and move into it. It's probably gonna be a long video, so sit back, maybe get some popcorn, and uh, let's go and dive into what's new. Starting off with, we'll be going ahead and taking a look at our uh, World War II slash World War One section, and we're gonna start off our first line here, the American line. Now, not a lot of vehicles added to the American line, only two, um, and they were redesigns. Uh, first being the uh, M4A3EA, so our EZ8 tank, as you can see here. Um, it's pretty much the same standard tank, uh, the main difference is being some little detailed changes here and there, um, and then the road wheels I ended up changing as well. Um, so it's probably going to be the new standard for my Shermans. I think the stone cutters uh, work really well for the road wheels on the Sherman, and I probably will be using this for uh, pretty much my, the rest of my builds, um, really for the Shermans. So, I think it came out really good. Uh, overall, pretty happy with the uh, overall design of it. Let's go ahead and move into uh, the next vehicle. As a reminder, uh, with it, my tutorial world updates, if you see a vehicle that has two copies next to it, that means there's a tutorial already out for the channel on the channel for it. So you guys can go ahead and look for it if you really want to build it right away. Um, but yeah, we do have the redesign for the WC51, um, which was uh, redesigned not too long ago. Um, so a nice, a simple little kind of utility vehicle. Uh, complete redesign over the last one. Last one was absolutely horrible, so really happy to get a nice redesign for it. And as I just break the sign right there, awesome. Uh, but yeah, really nice looking vehicle. And again, there's a tour out for the for this vehicle on the channel already. Moving to our next line, we have the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union only seen, uh, I think, two new ground vehicles added, and uh, the one is in the oversized area, but our one that's in our standard Soviet plots is the IS-6 heavy tank. Again, a tutorial already posted for it. Um, I really do love the way this tank came out. I think the detail on it is awesome, the shaping and everything like that is just perfect, and really overall is just a really nice looking tank. And again, there is a tutorial on the channel for it, so definitely be sure to check it out if you're looking for an awesome looking, um, you know, Soviet Union heavy tank. And then moving into our British line. Now we're gonna have a probably majority of these vehicles being British, um, ranging from basically World War II all the way into Cold War and the late Cold War and into early kind of modern warfare period. So starting off with, we have what is the A-30 Avenger. Again, this is a tank from War Thunder and part of me building the War Thunder tech tree. As far as I know, this was just a kind of uh, experimental or prototype tank. Don't think it really went past that. Um, but an interesting tank nonetheless, kind of a long uh, tank with that nice traditional kind of circular turret the British love to use. Uh, but yeah, really interesting looking tank and um, yeah, overall pretty happy with the way it came out. 
Our next tank down the line here, we have what is the uh, A-15 Crusader uh, AA Mark II. So basically an AA vehicle built on the chassis of the Crusader tanks. Um, again, really like the design for it. Uh, you know, nice little AA vehicle. Um, and um, yeah, so it's pretty nice overall. And then our next tank, uh, this one I actually really like. It's called the uh, QF 3.7 Ram. Uh, so it's obviously a tank destroyer, uh, but really cool. Just a you know giant uh, you know anti-tank gun uh, built on the chassis here of a uh, tank. So I think it's really cool in that sense. Um, I really do like these tanks. They have a kind of like a soft spot in my heart just because the amount of detail you're able to get into them and just like their kind of weird look. Just a basically a gun on a tank chassis. It's always really cool. And uh, again, this gun is uh, no exception to that. It looks really cool and uh, lots of good detail on this vehicle and all that. Um, then continuing down our line a little bit more, we have the A39 Tortoise Heavy Assault Tank. So again, this is, um, you know, a bit of redesign. It was on the world previously, so this is a uh, complete redesign for it. Uh, made it thicker and bigger overall, and this thing is an absolute chonker and beast of a vehicle. Um, again, detail real nice, a lot more accurate um, here and there for it, so happy with the new design for that. And then uh, continuing down the line a little bit further, we have the A-15 Crusader AA Mark II. And this is a uh, another uh, version of the self-propelled anti-aircraft uh, vehicle. And I believe the other one was actually the Mark I, and this is actually supposed to be the Mark II. So I got to fix my signs there. Uh, but yeah, this is the Mark II version, while the other one is the Mark I. And again, uh, you know, nice detail here. We have a, you know, flat gun. A little bit of detail on the inside of the turret. It's, it's open top. And uh, again, the chassis is pretty much all the same there for the Crusader. But yeah, really nice looking vehicle. And um, we're gonna go and go down the line. I believe there are a few more vehicles we need to cover. Also seeing some design changes was the Daimler uh, Mark II, I believe, or uh, AC Mark II. Uh, again, armored car version and everything like that. It looks really cool and a tutorial out, is currently out for it. And a uh, nice British armored car to uh, add to the ever going collection of British vehicles. A redesign we also have is the A34 Comet 1. Uh, this was a redesign basically from the ground up for the vehicle. Uh, basically just adding some of the new blocks, new detail, new shaping techniques and everything like that. Just kind of overall improving the build for it. Um, again, came out really nice. Really happy with the uh, overall look of this vehicle. And that's the uh, A34 Comet 1. Oh boy. Another new design we have is the Matilda Mark 1. This thing here is, as you can imagine, the um, very derpiest tank uh, you can imagine. Um, building it was definitely a challenge, uh, just in the way it looks, uh, it's, it's really weird. It's a really bare bones tank, has a really weird kind of shape to it and everything. Um, I think, I, I think it turned out great in terms of what I was going for, but it's definitely a very unique vehicle in its appearance and all that. And it was honestly a tricky build to really accomplish. And I think it did come out pretty good for, you know, what I was trying to go for and the tank we were trying to build. But again, this is the Matilda Mark 1, very, uh, interesting tank to say the very least. We also have a new design added, which is the 17 pounder Achilles, um, basically tank destroyer. Uh, I believe it's kind of comparable to that of the Wolverine or the Jackson. And basically what it is, is it's a uh, British version of it with their 17 pounder cannon. Um, really like the way it came out. Again, all the detail using the new blocks and all that stuff to our benefit. And it really did come out really nice, really mean looking tank destroyer and is again, really cool and I mean you can clearly see the ties to the Wolverine in it and uh, definitely makes you want to redo my Wolverine for sure but yeah that's the uh, new uh, one of the new builds here the 17 pounder um, SP Achilles and right there is going to conclude our British lineup. We're going to go in now move into our World War I, World War II for the French. French uh, seeing some additions after quite a while of not really having much going for them. But uh, yeah, some really nice dis additions to start off with. We have the Renault Juvacat, which is a uh, little kind of car, basically a staff car or even just a civilian car. But it was used by the uh, French uh, military and also the occupying uh, German forces. Um, so yeah, really interesting. Nice little car there. Kind of a fun little build to put like around bases or in towns and stuff like that. Uh, moving over here, we have a redesign for the St. Chamin. And I must say this is a huge redesign compared to the last one. Um, definitely a huge improvement overall. I think it came out really good. The camouflage on it is also really cool. And it really is a super nice looking redesign for it. More accurate in shape and size and all that compared to the previous one, which was too wide and... Uh, too tall and I'm overall really happy with the way this one came out for sure and that's the St. Chamin. 
As we move down the line just a little bit further, we have a redesign for a vehicle I never did a tutorial on. Um, this is the Schneider uh, CA1. Probably one of the most ugliest tanks I've ever really seen <laughs> or laid eyes on. Um, it's an absolute ugly, you know, monstrosity of a tank, but for what we're trying to accomplish here, I think it actually came out pretty good. Um, again, kind of go with the same detail as the St. Shaman. Um, and again, it's just a really weird looking tank. Has a few machine guns mounted here and there. And also has a uh, cannon, a short barrel cannon here on the side. So again, really interesting looking vehicle and a really ugly World War One tank to say the very least. Continuing on our World War II builds, uh, we have a addition to Poland. And this here is with the Somali uh, armor train, which is, you know, an actual armor train that was used uh, in World War II by Poland. Um, as you can see, really nice detailed train. Um, just love the way it came out. So we have like a little machine gun car here. Uh, pretty straightforward. It could also probably double as anti-air anti car. You have your first kind of, um, you know, car here with the two uh, howitzer cannons on it. Um, I actually believe one is more kind of like a, you know, AT gun and the other one's more of a howitzer, the short barreled one. Um, but I think they both kind of do the same thing. And also the machine gun turret there, machine guns on the sides, obviously. The locomotive itself came out really nice. Um, so again, real straight uh, for there, you know, an armored locomotive, that type of design. As we move our way back, we have the kind of command car. Um, if I remember correctly, this was used for basically um, targeting, um, basically, you know, range finding the uh, guns and stuff like that. Um, so this is that kind of car right here. And then we have a second one of the artillery cars, um, or basically the main artillery, so giving it a total of four of those cannons. Really awesome looking train. The camouflage on it really adds to it, and it just looks really mean for a train. And again, this is uh, for Poland World War II. As we work way down, we have uh, basically the highly anticipated KV-6, which uh, is basically a uh, experimental land battleship, pretty much. Or, uh, not really experimental because it never actually really was a concept or anything like that just made up by somebody and kind of took off but yeah awesome looking tank again there's a tutorial on, on it for my channel on the channel uh, a lot of you guys have asked for it for a very long time so i was happy to finally deliver it and it does look super cool um it was kind of fun taking the designs and stuff like that of some of my previous builds and putting it into one you know large build like this and making the kv6 so Really cool build and a really high, highly asked for one, so happy to finally deliver on that. Moving into our World War II slash World War I aviation line, we do have some new vehicles that were added to that as well. Um, mainly coming in the form of some redesigns. So starting off with, we have the Hawker Hurricane redesign. Um, absolutely love the way this came out. We did build this in a stream, so if you want to see the building of it, you can look up the previous stream for it. Uh, but yeah, really nice looking build. Um, the shape on it is really great and just the overall you know, look and appearance to it. Uh, I'm overall really happy with it. I think it came out really, really good. And again, uh, it was built in a stream and stuff, so it was fun building along with you guys and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it came out really nice. has a really nice camouflage to it and is a super cool vehicle. Um, so that's the Hawker Hurricane. Over here, we have a redesign for the Fairly Swordfish. This was never released as a tutorial as far as I believe, but it was seen on the world for quite some time. And it was extremely old as I believe it was actually transferred from back on Xbox. So the build was easily three, four years old. Um, so as you can see, really nice uh, redesign to it. Went with a white body, green tipped tail, and green uh, wings here. Um, came out really nice detail and overall again really cool. Um, you know, seating and all that stuff. Detailed back machine gunner, and uh, we have a torpedo armed on it as the fairly swordfish is known iconically for its torpedo bombing or uh, torpedo runs and stuff, especially in the uh, story with the turp or uh, Bismarck. Sorry, I almost said turpits there. Uh, we have Bismarck and all that, so really nice uh, aircraft, and that's the fairly swordfish. Working our way back to the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union has also seen some additions to their aircraft line. Uh, one being the A-20C, which basically is a Lend-Lease uh, A-20 Havoc, um, modified a little bit for Soviet Union service, mainly with the uh, difference of turret in the back here, and just a few little modifications here and there. Uh, really nice looking aircraft, there is a tutorial out on it, on my channel so you can go ahead and see it for yourself but yeah really cool kind of medium bomber there for the soviet union as we continue our way down we have the interesting uh, a40 flying tank so it was basically was taking a t60 i believe uh, attaching glider wings to it and making it a flying tank again there's a tutorial on it for, for or there's a tutorial on the channel for it so you can again watch it for yourself uh continuing on we have the p39 um dash 15Q, I believe, something like that. 
uh, Air, Air Cobra, which is, again is a land lease P-39 uh, fitted out for so Soviet Union surf er, service. Uh, the addition of little gun pods mounted on the wings here and just the Soviet markings and stuff like that. But yeah, really nice aircraft there. And again, a cool fighter uh, to add to our Soviet collection. And then we also have uh, a new medium bomber here uh, being the IL-4. So uh, again, cool build here and this will be coming out uh, very soon as a tutorial. But yeah, I love the detail on it, love the shaping, uh, the overall camouflage, love planes of camouflage, went ahead and went with a tan and black camo scheme here, and, and, uh, and tan, black, and green, and definitely looks really cool. So a really cool uh, two-engine bomber here uh, to add to our Soviet collection. So going ahead, moving back to Japan, Japan has seen three new aircraft added to its arsenal, and uh, really cool. It's been a while since we visited Japan's aviation, so fun to uh, get some builds out for them. Uh, but basically, starting off with, we have the D4Y2 Judy, which was a naval dive bomber. Uh, obviously, again, used in World War II, so pretty cool. Again, tutorial out for it on the channel. And then we also have the D4Y3, which is basically the later version of the, um, basically of the Judy. Uh, kind of a dual Patreon request um, here for uh, two guys, basically, coordinating builds and stuff, so... Yeah, we have two uh, new naval bombers, basically two different variants, one later war, one kind of more early war, uh, but overall, really nice uh, builds overall. And then we also have one more in the line we're going to go and take a look at real quick. The next build here is actually a redesign, and this is the J7W1 Shinden. There was never a tutorial posted on the channel for the original version, however, it kind of sat on this world for quite a long time, and it was our first aircraft in our Japanese line here. Um, again, it was one of those builds I believe was transferred over from Xbox, so a really old but an outdated build. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's been completely redesigned, uh, didn't keep anything from the previous one, and there is a tutorial out for it currently on the channel, so again, if you want to be able to see this really cool kind of experimental aircraft, um, really interesting and unique design, I don't think I've seen anything ever like it, so it's one of those aircraft that really stands out as being unique in its own. Uh, but yeah, there is a tutorial available for it on the channel, so feel free to check that out. Um, Again, uh, you can find it real easy by searching for it. So yeah, that's it for the Japanese line, and that will conclude our World War One, World War Two section of builds. Let's go and move into our Cold War and Modern Warfare section. Moving into our Modern Warfare slash Cold War, we're going to start off with the aircraft section, as um, we're already over here, so it makes it saves me the flying around. Uh, but yeah, this one needs no introductions. Obviously, the 28,000 um, subscriber special being the Air Force One. I uh, just completed the tutorial with the video yesterday, which uh, covered the interior for it. But yeah, my first ever aircraft with the interior, if you combine all the parts together for the tutorial, it is my longest tutorial uh, on the channel, being at five and a half hours. So again, a kind of build that's special to uh, my heart, I guess you can say. Uh, but yeah, really cool uh, looking build, and again, tutorial is out for basically building everything you can see here uh, for the aircraft, and what you can't see also be in the interior there. So again, a really cool looking build, and it was a really fun one. So a lot of you guys enjoyed that. We also have the C-17, so this was a new build that was uh, built on the world, obviously, and as you can see, really nice looking. Absolutely love the C-17, the way the wings came out, just the shaping, everything overall for it. Um, again, really nice looking build, and again, there is a tutorial out for it on the channel that you guys can see. Uh, continuing down the line, we have a redesign for the really long and overdue uh, B-52H Straddle Fortress. Um, some of you may remember the very old tutorial on my channel for the B-52, and it was only the in-flight version, didn't have the landed version, so it finally came back, redid it. Uh, we have a tutorial for it, there's the landed version included. Um, also the addition of these pylons here with tons of more bombs because you know more bombs more better uh, But absolutely beautiful looking aircraft and again a tutorial is available for it on the channel, but really do love it um, Probably my favorite bomber out of the three that are used by the United States right now uh, Going ahead and moving down here. We have a brand new aircraft. This was just built a few days ago This is the IL 76 MB or sorry MD um, a, our first ever actual Soviet Union slash Russian uh, cargo aircraft, and uh, this is used by the military and also civilian um, sectors. Uh, but yeah, really nice looking aircraft. Uh, kind of have the traditional white with the blue stripe running through it and the gray underbelly. Uh, really nice looking aircraft. Uh, again, super cool, and this will be coming out uh, hopefully very soon as well. But beautiful looking aircraft. Really do love the way it came out. And of course, we have the landed version of the aircraft down here as well. Um, so again, really happy the way this aircraft came out. So our first ever Soviet slash Russian uh, 
uh, transport or cargo aircraft added to the world. And moving into more modern American aircraft, we have the KC-135 Aerial Refueler. Um, so again, a new aircraft been added to the world, um, one of the aerial tankers in service with the United States Air Force. As you can see, we have the refueling probe here for the in-flight version and then the landed version with it pulled up. Um, so really cool there. Uh, landed version also, of course, with the landing gear, all that stuff, but a really nice looking aircraft. Uh, came out really cool and I do really, really want to get tutorial for this um, hopefully sometime too, uh, soon. But yeah, really nice looking aircraft and uh, really do love the way it came out. As we move down the line a little bit further, we have a new design also being the AH-1F uh, Cobra. So this is kind of the earlier version to the Viper uh, that we have a tutorial for. So this is uh, available as a tutorial. Uh, again, a really nice kind of Vietnam era attack helicopter. Lots of good little details on it and uh, overall really nice build. And again, there is a tutorial available for it on the channel. Continuing on down, we have the B-58 Hustler, which was a really awesome aircraft to build, really unique, and I really didn't know too much about this aircraft uh, before going into it and building it. Uh, but yeah, really unique aircraft, and again, really do love it. It had a really short service life, so it's really unrecognized, really unknown too much or compared to other aircraft, uh, but definitely a really cool uh, bomber aircraft uh, for the Air Force. So uh, you should definitely check that out. That is, there is a tutorial on the channel for it. We also have a new design for the UH-60 uh, Blackhawk, which uh, is a vehicle that had desperately needed a redesign for a long time. We also built this one in a stream, so if you are interested in maybe checking it, checking it out and seeing the build process for this aircraft, you can find it on um, the channel as the uh, post or a past stream, um, but really nice redesign for it. Uh, the detail on it, shaping is so much better, and uh, the in-flight version you can see right up there. Uh, moving on down the line, we have another really highly requested redesign, and this is for the F-35. Um, this is the A model, and again, really nice redesign overall uh, in terms of detailing and shaping and all that. Just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> came out really good and really happy the way this new this uh, new F-35 came out. So again, tutorial out for on the channel. We then have the F-104 Starfighter, which again is a uh, new build that's been added. Really nice looking aircraft, uh, really unique again uh, with the shape of it. It has a really long slender body and really stubby wings. Uh, it's super weird and I believe it's actually being added to War Thunder real soon here. So, you know, that's kind of a fun uh, build, kind of fun how that worked out. Uh, but yeah, really interesting looking aircraft. I mean, we've had a lot of really unique aircraft in this uh, in this tutorial world update. And then lastly here we have the uh, redesign for the B1 Lancer. Again, a really highly re-needed um, or redesigned vehicle. Uh, came out really good. Again, this was built in a live stream, so you can uh, check that out if you want. Shaping on it, again, looks awesome. Detailing looks great, and overall just a really beautiful looking aircraft that I think came out really, really well. And uh, again, you can find the live stream on the channel and watch it for yourself, seeing the build process and all that stuff. Had a good time building it with some of my buddies and stuff. But yeah, it came out really good. Of course, we had the landing gear, all that, and... You know, overall, just really love this aircraft. So, again, that's uh, built and opening to be done as a tutorial here very soon. Moving into our ground vehicles, we have a lot of new ground vehicles, obviously. Um, first being the United States. So, United States here is seeing the uh, redesign for the Buffalo 6x6 MPCV. Um, so, this was a uh, redesigned vehicle. I did have one current previously on the world, but it was super outdated. And this redesign here, post here, went to complete shame. Uh, absolutely beautiful looking. Uh, vehicle, lots of good detail on it, and again, available as a tutorial. We also have a very recent tutorial here being the Cougar 6x6, which is a armored personnel carrier. Uh, again, a really nice looking model, and again, tutorial out for it. And then we also have the four-wheeled version here, the 4x4, uh, which is, uh, you know, something I've also built that is uh, a way to tutorial, but really nice vehicles added um, in this lineup here, and we'll move down the line a little bit and see a few other vehicles added. Moving down the line a little bit further, we have a new design for a um, tanker, uh, basically a fuel uh, tankered vehicle. This is the M97884, which is based off of the Oshkosh M978. It's one of the variants for it, and this is the refueling model for it. Again, a real heavy-duty truck with a Big fuel tank and all that stuff. Again, tutorial available for it on the channel. We also have an air build that was redesigned in the live stream. This is a redesign for the T110E3, uh, which again was uh, built in a live stream. So if you do want to see the book process for it, you can. Uh, but a really cool kind of experimental Cold War 
uh, tank destroyer prototype for the United States. Um, as we move down the line, we have redesigns for the Humvee and also some new versions for it. Uh, we have the standard model here, uh, again tutorial out for it. We also have a machine gun version, which is also out. Uh, we do have the medical version here designed as well. Continuing down a little bit further, we have the uh, Avenger, which is basically the anti-air uh, version of it. And then we have a anti-tank version with the tow, which is uh, labeled as the M114. Um, so this has a tow launcher mount on the top of it. And then we have the kind of pickup truck version of the Hummy. Hum the Hummy, yes, the Hummy. How? Oh, but the uh, Humvee with the M1097. So really cool uh, vehicles there and some really nice redesigns. Uh, the previous Humvee was oversized in its scale and this one kind of corrects that and is a really nice model, I think, and more accurate to my builds and all that. So anyways, that's it for um, our modern slash Cold War US line. Let's go ahead and move into our next line. And now we move into probably our longest line, and this is the Cold War slash Early Modern Warfare section for the British and there has been a lot added to this um, and a lot of redesigns and new builds so starting off with we have the fv214 conquer this was a um, tank that was uh, used basically very very scarcely uh, mainly as a counter to the heavy uh, soviet union tanks like that uh, used mainly in west berlin and all that um, really nice build again recent tutorial came out for it so a nice redesign um, Going ahead and moving down the line a little bit further, we have a new design for the Centurion. So this is the A41 Centurion Mark III. Um, so a nice redesign, completely redesigned from the ground up and looks really nice. And you'll see we have a bunch of new Centurion models added to our lineup, but really nice looking vehicle overall. Also good detail and the shaping on it is hugely improved. As we continue down our line a little bit further, um, we have a, another new Centurion and this is the Mark I version which uh, has been redesigned and is now a tutorial on the channel as well. So if you are looking for a Centurion, you do have access to that. Um, as we continue down the line a little bit further, we have the A41 Centurion. Moving down the line, we have another Centurion. I believe this might be the Centurion 10 or the Action X, one of the two. Um, the sign here is mislabeled, so I do have to figure that out. Uh, but again, just another Centurion using the same kind of bases and everything that with a few minor detail changes here and there for the build to make it more accurate to uh, whatever series or whatever difference this uh, variant belongs to. And now we get into the big bulk of our uh, Cold War and Modern Warfare British lineup vehicles. Starting off with we have the FV-101 Scorpion. This here was a kind of part of the some very light armored vehicle uh, lineup of vehicles basically designed as a infantry support one with a auto cannon and all that stuff really nice design for it again there's two versions as you can see here um, so pretty cool stuff or not two versions but two build here so there's a tutorial for it as we continue down a little bit further we have the fv4202 um, again a kind of prototype tank that really never saw service but uh was a prototype tank continuing on down a little bit further we have the a41 uh, caravan Again, a tank that you can find a War Thunder, I believe another prototype type tank or experimental tank. So, really cool looking tank. As we move down uh, further, I really do like this tank. This is the uh, FE4101 Charioteer Mark III. Uh, I believe this is built off of the... I forget what chassis it's built off of, but it's basically built off of World War One chassis, but modified for Cold War service, given a longer gun and all that. Um, so, really nice looking build and uh, do really like it. As we move down a little bit further, we have the FE4005, which is a redesign. Actually, I believe it's a redesign. It might have been a completely uh, new build, but I'm pretty sure it's a redesign compared to the old one on the world. Um, so yeah, the FE4005. Uh, continuing on, we have the uh, A41 Centurion Action X. Action X. So this is, uh, again, another one of those Centurion models. So pretty cool there. Moving down the line, we have the Vickers. Uh, main t or, uh, battle tank mark one so Vickers uh, battle tank uh, mark one again in our prototype tank kind of an interesting thing it's really long um, but yeah really interesting pretty cool looking tank then we have the FV4004 uh, Conway which is basically the prototype for the FV4005 so um, pretty cool there uh, continuing on we have the Falcon AA which 
Moving on to our next vehicle, we have the Falcon A, which is based off of, or basically a concept idea based off of the FV433 Abbott. But basically what it is, is equipping two 20mm guns here in a turret housing on basically one of those light kind of um, armor vehicles. Uh, again, really nice looking design for it and overall pretty happy of it. Again, a worth under vehicle. We then have the vehicle that this one uh, was a prototype kind of a the concept design based off of it. Um, this right here is the FV433 Abbott, which was a self-propelled uh, gun, so basically a very light uh, kind of vehicle, a uh, small vehicle with a pretty large um, howitzer on it, giving some artillery support. Continuing on, we have the uh, A41 Centurion Mark V ARVE, basically an upgraded protection package on the tank, more designed kind of for a bunker busting type role. Uh, short barrel, barrel larger ca caliber cannon and um, yeah just overall a kind of upgraded a little bit more beefed up centurion continuing on down further we have the chieftain uh, mark 3 so this is a redesign compared to the old chieftain on the uh, channel and uh, this is a huge upgrade in terms of uh, design and all that uh, then we have the chieftain here mark 10 so again kind of like later version of the Chieftain, a few modifications here and there, and all that. Uh, once that's, uh, after that build, we have uh, what is the, uh, let me double check here, the FV4030 Challenger 1 Mark II. Um, so really interesting build again, something redesigned and looks really nice overall. And that right there is going to sum up our British Cold War Modern Warfare line, and let's go ahead and continue on. Moving on back to Czechoslovakia, we have a new build also. This is comes in the term of a self-propelled um, howitzer, the 152mm uh, Dana. So again, really cool build and is out the, on the channel as a tutorial. But yeah, really cool uh, self-propelled gun and from Czechoslovakia. And over here we have our last build, the STRV81, which was a basically a Swedish um, Centurion modified with some extra rockets here and stuff like that on the side of the build. Um, overall the same, you know, Centurion that we all uh, knowing all that just with some extra rockets and a few little modifications here and there to it uh, But still the same thing a centurion and that right there is going to sum up my overview of everything that's been added um, Just a few other builds to mention uh, the 1989 Batmobile was added uh, the banana car fallout 2 vertebrate the Metal Gear Gecko the Spongebob Paddy Wagon, and the Sonic X Tornado. Also in the Star Wars section, I built a B1 Battle Droid, B2 Super Battle Droid, a P-Series Destroyer Droid known as a Droidica, and also a TIE slash IN Interceptor. And that right there is going to sum up everything that's been added to the world in our new version of the world. Lots of new, really large builds, and I think that um, there's something for everybody to kind of enjoy from the new update. Uh, so again, feel free to check it out. Download will be down in the description. And hopefully you all do enjoy this new version for it. Again, big thank you guys for 29,000 subscribes. That subscribes, 29,000 subscribers. It's really much appreciated. And, uh, you know, it's crazy to see how far we uh, have come and continue to keep going. So thank you guys all so much for the continued support. Overall, enjoy the world. Have fun with you guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been your 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.